Hello friends, we welcome all of you to this session wherein we will explain to you how to register yourself and fill up the form for the CUET 2022 examination. Let us begin. The registration window for the CUET examination is open from 6th of April to 6th of May 2022 up to 5 pm and the date of the examination is 1st and the 2nd week of July. So the candidates must ensure that they fill up the form before or on 6th May 2022. The website to register for the CUET examination is cuet.samarth.ac.in Dear friends, this is the website for the CUET examination registration and this is the portal. In the starting, we have to click on the register button and a detailed instruction page opens. It is recommended to the candidates that they read the instructions carefully. We can see that the required documents are the scanned images of candidates photograph, signature and the category certificate if applicable and also PWBD certificate if it is applicable. The next step is to review the fees. The next step is to click on this checkbox which says that I have downloaded the information bulletin, read and understood all the instructions therein as well as those mentioned above and fill up the application form for the CUET accordingly and click here to proceed. Now dear students, the next step is to enter all of our details. The next step is to enter the address and the present and the permanent address separately. Then we have to choose our password, enter the security pin and click submit. On clicking submit, we get a page to review our details and we can review and then proceed downwards. And select each of these checkboxes to ensure that we have verified all of these details. Then click submit and send OTP to mobile. In the next step, we will have to enter the OTP that we have received on our cell phone or the mobile phone. Dear friends, once we have registered ourselves, the next step is to go back to the home page and then click on sign in. In the sign in, we have to enter our application number and password. Sign in, we arrive at this page wherein we have to click on continue to the application form. As we click on continue to application form, we can see that there are various details that we have to enter. The next step is to enter the present and the permanent address and the various quota related information. Now dear students, the next step is to click save after entering all the details correctly. The next page, the next page would ask us to review our personal details as we have entered them. So we can scroll through our entered information and if all the information is correct, we can click on this button which says proceed to the next section. Once we click on the button proceed to the next section, the next step or the next page is to enter our educational details. In the educational details, we have to enter our result status that is if we have passed the 12th examination or if we are appearing for it, the passing year, the qualifying examination, the place of the schooling, the type of the school, whether the school is a government school, a private aided school, private unaided school, etc. Similarly, the information is required for class 12th as well. As we move further down, after entering all the details correctly, we can click on the button save. As we click on the button save, the next page asks us to review our educational details. We can scroll through them and verify if we have correctly filled up all the informations and then click on proceed to next section. This section is very important. Herein we have to enter the university and the program in that university that we wish to apply for. As we know that in the CUET there are various participating universities and each university offers some myriad of courses, therefore we should be very clear of our final objective and the final desired course. For example, we can select 
Aligarh Muslim University and enter a course of BA Hindi and then add. We can see that this university is added here. We can also scroll through multiple universities that are present and for example we can add another university this is University of Delhi and among the various courses that are available in University of Delhi we can select the course that we wish to apply for. For example we can apply for BSc in Life Sciences and then add. We can see that there are two universities and there are two courses that are added. We can add multiple universities and multiple courses for appearing in CUET. Now the next step is to click on University Program Selection Preview. Herein we have to review the universities and the courses that we have applied for. Once we have verified this, we click on proceed to next section. Dear friends, in the next section or the next page, as we scroll down, we can select what all tests from the CUET we wish to take part in. For example, if we do not wish to take part in any test in first slot, we can click not applicable in each drop down menu. Now for the second slot, let us select English as one of the languages and not applicable in the second language. Please note that these subjects vary from course to course and you are advised to check the official website of the CUET to check what all tests you need to give for a particular course in a particular university. You can also visit our official website akash.ac.in wherein we have compiled all the seats in the universities as per the eligibility and also mentioned the tests that the student or the candidate needs to take in the CUET for those courses. Let our first domain specific subject be physics. Let our second domain subject be as per the demand of the courses that we have undertaken. Let us take it mathematics and let the last domain subject be chemistry. We can select not applicable in the domain specific subject. We are repeating again that this combination of subjects can change and may change as per the selection of the courses and the universities. Is to click on this checkbox which says that I have declared that I have selected the above subjects and understand that the select subjects is not liable to change or modified in the later stage of the application and the examination and click save. Once we click save, the next page is to review our selection of the tests. Once we have reviewed our selection of the test and the courses, we proceed to the next section. In this next page, we have to select the medium of the question paper and our preferred center locations. The medium can be selected out of the 13 languages. We can select English here. Please note that the location of the centers will be as per the address given by you in the registration. For example, if you give Delhi as one of your addresses, then the available states will be Uttar Pradesh, Haryana and Delhi and so on and so on. Therefore, it is advised that you enter your address correctly. Once we have selected our centers, we can click on save. After clicking on save, the next page asks us to review our selection of the center locations and the question paper medium. After reviewing that details, we can click on proceed to next section. And the next step is to upload the various documents that are required. Once we have uploaded all these documents, we can click on proceed to preview section. Friends, the next page asks us to review the complete details that we have entered in our application form. We can scroll down and see all of our details. We should verify these details very carefully so as to ensure that there is no mistake in our application form. Once we have verified all of our details, we can now click on each of these checkboxes. These checkboxes are to ensure that we have verified all of these informations that I mentioned. 
Once clicking on all of these checkboxes, we proceed to the payment. And there's a notification which asks us to be very careful while clicking on final submit. We click on OK. Is to enter our email ID and click on verify. A verification code will be sent to our registered email ID. After entering the OTP received on the email ID, we proceed further and the next step is to click on continue application form. After reviewing all of these details, we click on preview. After entering our details, we can see our after entering the OTP received on our email ID, we can see our details here and the total amount that to be paid is 650 rupees. There are various payment gateways which we can use to pay the We click on one of those payment gateways and this would take us to that particular bank's payment gateway. We can select a particular payment mode. For example, if it is a credit card, we click on credit card and we can see are all the details and the amount that has to be paid. We click on confirm. And now we enter our card details pay. After we have done the payment, we are landed to this particular page where we can download and print our confirmation page. We can click on it. Now dear student, this is our final confirmation page. We should save it for our future references and to ensure that this remains with us till the final CUET counseling. And this completes the registration process for the CUET 2022 examination. Thank you for watching.